I'm Linux Daily back with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at CentOS. We took a look at this one back when it was CentOS 7, but CentOS uh, 8 has just been released on September 24th of 2019. So it's been out for a little while. I'm going to see if it has any noticeable changes with CentOS 8. I've got it downloading up here, but to download it, you just go click Cent, uh, Get CentOS up here, and then just get the CentOS DB and pick any repo you want. It downloads it directly through HTTP. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to click any of these right now. But I'm going to go ahead and boot up a virtual box, and I'll get back to you when that is complete. All right, everybody, we are booted into our virtual machine with CentOS Linux 8 instead of 7. So we have the same options as we did with 7. So I'm just going to go ahead and move up to install CentOS Linux 8 and it should be booting into our ISO file that we downloaded. I'm going to click out of this message here. Capture it again. So CentOS Linux 8 was released on September 24th of 2019. It's based on Fedora 28. CentOS was based off of Fedora 19. So the new one uses the 4.18 kernel instead of 3.10 that was used in CentOS 7. Alright, so the mouse is doing some weird things in scaled mode here. So it looks like I'm just going to use the keyboard with the tab key and the answer key. It might be because of a, it's a, probably a virtual box issue. So I will be using this 215 gigabyte hard drive. Go up here to done, hit enter, and it should, yep, automatically select that server selection server with GUI which is perfect that's what we'll be using we'll click begin installation and I'm going to create a root password very secure root password and we have to press done twice user creation I will make a user here Of course, we'll type in our very secure password. Go over to done, and then click done again because we have a insecure password too short for CentOS 8, so we have to press done twice. So it is installing here. I believe CentOS 8 still uses the GNOME desktop environment. It uses NF tables instead of IP tables that's a new feature and has limited support for Python 2.7 more support goes for Python 3.6 so if you have some applications running with Python 2.7 you might want to make them compatible for 3.6 that's just a limited list of some of its new features with CentOS 8 so I'll leave a link down in the description for a full list of different upgrades for CentOS 8 so I'll get back to you when this installation is complete. All right, everybody, we are here booted into our desktop environment. We got the getting started GNOME help page pulled up here, booted up automatically. So I'm going to get out of there. So we are here in the GNOME desktop environment. Everything seems to be working good. I had to reset the screen resolution to something a little bit more bearable. And now that let the, um, the mouse work perfectly. So if we go under all applications, it pretty much shows that it is a pretty limited when it comes to software pre-installed, which is what you want with a server operating system. We got boxes for virtualization, software center, calculator. We pretty much got really limited here. So if we wanted to make like a little server or whatever, like a web server, which we'll do later on in this video, we'll um, go to the terminal and do all that. I'm going to go ahead and go to settings. We got limited options here as well. We got like background and stuff, but nothing really groundbreaking here. Network, we got devices. Pretty much like bare and simple GNOME. So, if you are planning on upgrading or installing CentOS, I would prefer this one over CentOS 7 as this one's more updated and more uh, 
probably get more support with this one than you would with CentOS 7. If you take a look at the system monitor here, we can see how well things are running here. I do have around 16 gigs allocated. It looks like it's running fairly well even with GNOME. Because GNOME is known to be a heavier on the resources files um, desktop environment. So since we already took a look at some of the pre-installed applications, let's go ahead and make a little web server here. All right, and the mouse is all right. There we go. The mouse is doing some weird things. So we are logged in as Linux Daily. So I'm just gonna go switch over to root here. Type in my very secure password. We're just gonna change into the roots home directory instead of being in the Linux Daily home directory. So we're gonna do a yum dash y update to update our system here it looks like we're getting an error from app stream I'm not sure why it's causing that on a clean install of CentOS 8 alright I'm going to go ahead and fix this and I'll get back to you when I complete that alright it turns out it was a network problem which is kind of a bad mistake out of me but I did eventually get it working I thought it was a like a corrupt repo list or whatever but Somehow the network was not enabled. Well, it was enabled, but it didn't get a DHCP address. Because I have it as a bridge adapter on my virtual box. But we here, I got it working. So I'm just doing a quick system update. And then I will install the HTTPD and we will set up a quick little server. Since this is a server operating system. Alright, that took a pretty good amount of time to do the full system upgrade. So right now I'm going to do a yum-y install HTTPD to install the Apache 2 web server. This shouldn't take super long. It looks like it's already almost done here. But this allows us to host a little web server. It looks like it's almost done. I'm just installing a few dependencies. Alright, it looks like that is complete. So we can do a systemctl start httpd. And that's going to start our service. And then we can do a vim slash var slash www slash html slash index dot html. So when we get into our HTML here, our um, index.html, we're going to do a doc type, HTML, HTML, I cannot type today, and then we can do a uh, h1, this is a test, then we can end our thing. We could also do a end for the HTML. So that's just going to host a simple little website. All it says is this is a test, but it gets the point across that it is serving out the website. So my initial thoughts of this is it's really similar to, really similar to CentOS 7. Just a lot of the updates were all backend updates like underneath the hood but if you are running a current CentOS 7 server I would probably imagine you want to upgrade to CentOS 8 here soon so with all that being said I hope you enjoyed the video I'll catch you in the next one